All right, y'all, I'm gonna make a quick video and talk about why the Suzuki GS500 is the ideal beginner sport bike. So I'll show you mine here. Um, it's a, like I said, it's a 2007 Suzuki GS500F. Um, it's a pretty basic bike, you know, that's not like real fast or flashy. I um, have had it for about six months. I've put about 3,000 miles on it. Um, as you can see, it's got about 13,000 currently, or 12,200. Um, it's a great bike. Um, I've definitely been enjoying it. Um, but I'm, as many people do, I'm looking to upgrade now, um, just because it, it really doesn't have the torque that you would think um, from a 500cc engine. Um, I was playing around with the idea of getting a 250 and then I was like, well, probably a 600 would be a little too much to start on, you know, that whole debate, you know, if it's too much for a beginner to get a 600 four-cylinder engine bike as your first bike. Um, and I tried to be responsible, and I, you know, I read up, and everyone said the GS, or the a 500cc engine is definitely not too much for a beginner, um, but at the same time, you won't get bored and want to upgrade in four months of having, you know, of riding the bike. Um, so in my experience, um, I'm a pretty big guy. I'm like 220 pounds, six foot one. Um, and this thing just, I don't know, it, it does the job, but it just doesn't have the acceleration. Um, and it just feels like it has to work extra hard to, you know, to do even basic, basic stuff. Um, so my other purpose for this video is that I recently um, tried a uh, Triumph Street Triple, a 2013 Triumph Street Triple. I just took a test ride of it this morning, and holy cow, it's just a whole nother, whole nother story. Um, so this, the only bikes that I've ridden are the GS500. I rode my friend's uh, Suzuki Katana, which is a 600cc inline four-cylinder, um, just like real, just around town a little bit. Um, and then, so today I rode the Street Triple, like I said, and that thing is seriously amazing. I had done a little bit of research, um, and everyone is saying that, you know, the Street Triple is just the best all-around bike, that the engine has the perfect balance of low-end torque and nice, you know, top-end speed. Um, and man, that thing was so smooth. Like, it was just so responsive. It hardly even felt like I was on a motorcycle. It just felt like I was floating along, like on the road. It was pretty amazing. Um, so, talking about upgrading, um, I'm going to start saving up for a street triple, I'm pretty sure. Um, but like I said, the reason I'm making this video is to discuss how or why the GS500 is the best beginner bike. Um, a lot of people get like Ninja, a Kawasaki Ninja 250 for their first bike. Um, and I can't, you know, really say much because I've never ridden a 250, but just comparing, or just going off of my experience with the Suzuki GS500, um, it's really the ideal beginner bike. It's dirt cheap. I bought mine for $2,200 on Craigslist, um, which is, I mean, you can look around and that's not much. You can't find like a decent Kawasaki Ninja 250 for less than that, you know what I mean? Maybe like 1500 for a real beat up one. Um, but in general, I mean, I probably could have got it for like 2000 um, and it, it was laid over once, but it's in pretty good shape. So relatively, um, it's, it's extremely good value. Um, cause like I said, if you're a smaller guy or girl, um, you can get years out of this bike and it will, it'll serve you well. It's known for having like a quote unquote bulletproof engine, which basically just means it's super reliable, um, I replaced the battery on it when I first got it, and in like, like I said, about 3,000 miles, it hasn't given me a single issue um, since I replaced the battery. So it's known to be pretty reliable. It's you know, at top speed is like 120. Um, it'll I can cruise at like 65 on the highway, sitting at about 5,000 RPM um, in sixth gear, which is pretty comfortable. Um, so it's not having to like go crazy to try and keep up with the 60 mile an hour, you know, freeway speeds, um, which I, I really appreciate. And yeah, it's just a good all around bike. The other thing that worried me was the, uh, the ergonomics on the GS 500. Um, everyone, you know, says that, uh, it's very 
standard position, kind of a neutral. You're sitting up pretty straight, and I think it's really comfortable. Um, and it's when I sat on the street triple, it felt pretty much the same. The street triple was amazingly comfortable. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, that's the other thing is it's a very beginner friendly, just the ergonomics, the speed, um, the reliability, and the value all together. I mean that is the beginner's bike. So I'm like I said, I'm very happy with it. Um, but man, that the street triple just engine smooth as butter. It's so responsive. That's one thing I don't particularly like about the Suzuki, and maybe it's just mine. Um, but the engine, especially if you're pulling from low revs, like around two or three thousand, it just feels real clattery and like rough. Um, and like I said, the acceleration's not fantastic. Um, so just having that, I mean, the street triple is smooth as butter. It just purred nice and clean from, you know, one or two thousand RPMs all the way up into the, I think I only got it to about eight thousand. It red lines at like 13. Um, but yeah, they're both great bikes. Um, I talked to the people at the dealer and they were saying, you know, I have, I was like, I have this piece of crap Suzuki GS 500 and I'm looking to upgrade. And the guy in the shop was like, no, dude, the GS is a good bike. Um, and like I said, its reputation is for being very reliable and definitely a great value. Um, I guess that's about it. But if you're thinking about getting a bike, honestly, I would say no matter, you know, if you're a girl, a 30 year old guy that wants to get into it or, you know, whatever college student, um, the GS 500 is an excellent starter bike for sure. Um, and then the Triumph street triple I've more or less fallen in love with. So I hope to be getting one of those by next season, probably in the next year or so. Um, so yeah, if you guys have questions, I'd love to talk about it in the comments. Um, I'll give you one more look at my, uh, GS 500 here, but yeah, thanks for watching. Here's some of the damage um, from when it was laid over by the previous owner. Nothing real serious. Um, but yeah, it's very, very good seating position and it's pretty comfortable. I did actually ride with one of my friends on the back and um, the suspension is the other thing that I don't really like on the GS. Because it, with me and, I mean, she doesn't weigh more than like 130 pounds probably. But it like bottomed out the suspension and especially the front suspension just feels really, really rough. Like if you go over a, a curb or whatever, it'll just slam. Like it, there's no give at all and no cushion. It just feels like you're ramming into the ground. Um, anyway, I'll talk to you guys later.